Like no one, like if you talk to any from from Toronto, you say, "Yo, do you do you feel safe?" Everyone's gonna say yes. You know what I mean? If you go to Detroit, you go to Chicago, you know, you'll get some real violence. You know, this isn't real violence. Look at this. Shit. <laughs> like this is the this is the exact opposite of violence. You know what I mean? You can walk around, harass people. You know, with within reason. You know, and you're not worried about getting attacked. You know what I mean? Especially if you walked up to three black guys. You don't think about it. You know, you don't do that. In, you don't do that in certain places. You'll get attacked. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Andrew Does. We're here at some sort of busker fest. Basically, it's a big homeless society of people with weird talents. We snuck in. Apparently, if you look to your right, we could have just walked in. Who knows? Let's interview some people. This is what Andrew does. Okay, today, we're mainly asking people about the election that's coming up. And we just want to know who you think is going to win. Not who you want to win, necessarily. Election who you for where? Canada. Federal election. I don't even know who's running. You don't know who's running? No, I don't. Well, there's the Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Absolutely not. There is the Conservative leader, Andrew Scheer. Let's say Andrew Scheer, right away. Yeah, you think he's going to win? Yeah. You Justin the... Trudeau would not win. He's, he's finished. Why do you think that? The things he's done, and I think he's very... It's his integrity. It's off. He's Can not... you give an example of something he's done that you don't like? Well, he lies a lot. I mean, I don't have an exact example, but from what I've seen and what I've heard on the news, he's lied a lot. He has been convicted of multiple ethics violations and crimes, uh, stopping the SNC-Lavalin thing. Do you know about that? No, I don't. So it's this uh, huge uh, company that's out of Quebec, and they, they've they been caught many times for, uh, I think it was laundering money, and this time they are getting caught again, they were going to get fined, but he told the Attorney General to not investigate them, basically, and it turns out they were guilty of these crimes. So he was guilty of an ethics crime for interfering in an investigation. Mm -hmm. uh, that's at the federal level. So that lady resigned. And yeah, he's guilty as ethics violations of that. And then there's also when he took a private helicopter trip with the Aga Khan, which is a large uh, like political donator. They also get a lot of contracts from the federal government of Canada. So mm -hmm. stuff like that's what he's guilty of. That's it. That's why he's finished. Integrity. Any interest in any of the other leaders, the NDP or anything like that? Not really, no. to be honest. I just don't want Justin Trudeau to be the leader. I want him to get out of here now. Are you worried about taxes at all or anything like that? I'm very worried about taxes, actually, but let's see what happens. Hopefully good things happen. I am worried about it, just like I'm sure everyone is. But, yeah, hopefully good things happen, though. Very cool. Anything else? That's it. All right, thanks a lot, man. You want to talk about... You want to talk about the easiest job at the festival? Hey, uh, I'm just going to be standing here for six hours pressing the bubbles. He doesn't even work here. He's just a creepy guy who showed up with a bubble maker, I think. Today we've been asking people what they think is going to happen in the federal election. Sorry, you're... Uh... Uh, <laughs> I don't think nothing's going to move. Who do you think is going to win? Doesn't have to be who you want to win. Who do you think is going to win? Justin Trudeau. Why do you think that? Because a lot of people complain, and usually when they complain, they re like the same people. Yeah? Yeah. That's is, what there, I think. is there anything you like that he's done, policies, or anything he said that you like? You know what? I don't really know, like, how he deal the real thing, because I don't... I think I the only thing quality I can give him is he seems to be honest, like he's doing mistake, but he look honest, and I think that's a good priority. And he have a good, like, um, how do you say that? Presence? Presentation? Self -pre oh, presence, okay, yeah. Like, uh, I don't know how to say that. No, that makes sense. La prestance, you know? Yeah, yeah that's Okay, have you heard about any of the things he's been uh, found guilty of, eth ethics violations or anything like that? That's a big thing these days. He's interfered in some investigations and the federal government found him guilty of that. And then the government was using money for things in other countries that they weren't supposed to. You Have you heard anything about that? Uh, it happened when? This last week? No, it happened uh, earlier in the year and last year. They interfered yeah. with an investigation and they used some of the, um, the money. So basically in uh, Syria, they used gover Canada's government money for prostitutes, the other government. Super. <laughs> okay. So you don't like him? <laughs> no, it's, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I'm just telling you what he, like these have yeah, been yeah. convicted. Yeah. It's not my opinion. That's just actually what's yeah. been in the news. So I'm wondering if that's swaying on anybody's because opinion. Because you know what, like what you heard in the news doesn't mean it's true. For sure. You, like that's a lot of complication. Can I have link people? They are easy to like, just bring what they hear and what they see. But the reality is is it like that bad or yes or no you don't know so it's hard to like just complain of like just on the facades comprend? just in front and not really behind one two two and a 
Uh-huh. And three, come on, throw and throw. This is just advanced yoga. That's all this is. Really simple question day. Who do you think is going to win the election? It, it, okay, I'm not talking politics at Busker Fest. You do your own thing. All right, I'll do my own thing. Do you want to answer? No. No? It's a little complicated? I know. It's a little complicated. Not at Busker Fest. Can't be doing that. Trudeau again. And why is that? Sexiest. Sexiest man in politics right now? Yeah, he seems to have a pretty good PR thing going on. I mean, sort of. Do you want to give your opinion? Uh, not really. I don't really know what I'm going to do in that, to be honest with you. It seems uh, not like too many good candidates, really. Is there anything that tr uh, the Prime Minister has done policy-wise or anything that he says that you like or dislike particularly? Uh, to be honest, I'm not a huge political guy, so I don't know that much about it, but it seems like he's kind of missed on most of his promises, so uh, you hear pretty much extremes in each direction, so I kind of try and stay in the middle. True, true. Do you think he should be, should have been, I guess at this point, more liberal or more conservative, or do you have an opinion on that? Uh, as far as socially, or? So, socially is a big thing, but uh, I mean the policies haven't really changed that much besides maybe like some trade deals that have been fumbled here and there. Yeah. But socially, how do you feel about how he's pointed the country in which direction, in his direction? Uh, I like the kind of underlying ideology of being pretty liberal uh, as far as social stuff goes, but sometimes I feel like it's a bit of a PR campaign stunt, you know? Kind of masks the other things he's doing, like any of the trade deals or the pipe stuff. So, uh, I mean, I agree with it ideologically. I just don't know what it's being used for, really. Do you think that some of the liberal parties, maybe in Western countries only, we could say, have gone too far to the left, or are you okay with how things are going? Or is it just, you know, like staying the same, like you said, and just being masked with the other issues? Yeah, I think maybe a bit too far to the left, but I mean, we're trying to find a balance of things, right? I mean, we are moving in the right direction. Is there overcompensating? Probably, like with most things, but it's beyond just politics. It kind of takes all everything, really. Cool. Anything else? That's it for me, brother. Thanks for uh, having a chat. All right, thanks a lot, man. Cheers, brother. Test, test, testing, one, two, check, check, pop, pop, popsicle, bike, bike, bicycle. That's test, not necessary. Testing, one, two, three. That sounds good. Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah, we can. And we just want to know what you think the results are going to be. Whether you want to give your opinion or not, just how do you think it's going to go? should be a fun show usually, right? There's going to be a lot of like uh, tomato throwing. It'll be like very renaissance, I imagine, right? <laughs> Hopefully the best winner wins. Do you have any idea who do you think is going to win? It's hard to say because like when you look at everything, it could go sideways. No one knew what was happening in America, right, four years ago. So it could be anything. Maybe a Canadian goose could win. Touching on that, though, yeah. the polls in the last American election were very wrong. They had Trump losing 90 to 10, yeah. 99 in some, uh, some cases. Do you think that the polls in Canada are better? Have you taken a look at them? Do you think we can trust them? I think for the most part, we can probably trust them. It's just hard to say, you know, like I used to be a betting man, but after that, like, it's hard to, hard to put money on that table. Okay, did you want to give your opinion on who you might vote for? Um, right now, I'm not sure who I might vote for. I usually always do show up because it's a good right. We should vote. But I haven't looked at um, the candidates thoroughly enough to say, like, I can support this person. Yeah. Has there been anything that the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has done policy-wise or anything he said that you either like or dislike like very firmly? Um, hmm. Anything that that guy has really done, um, he panders to the masses a lot, which is great, but I mean, um, I don't hate the guy. He's not a bad guy. It's just that, like, could be performing a little bit better. He kind of, like, it's like a figurehead. He got in because of his uh, ties. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Anything else you want to add? Um, go vote. You should. You know the people that die for that vote, so you should honestly vote. All right, yeah. thanks a lot, man. Thanks, bro. What are you guys streaming? Uh, thank you. Can you tell us about what you're doing here today? I just come down and check out Buskerfest. All right, anything in particular? Uh, no, just to see all the different artists performing their acts. Funnel cake by any chance? Ah, uh, funnel cake might not be too bad. <laughs> today we've actually been asking people about the federal election that's coming up. Uh, see how I worked that in there? And we just want to know what you think the results might be. You don't got to give your opinion as to who you're voting for or anything, just what you think might happen. Unfortunately, I think Trudeau's going to get in again. Unfortunately, why do you say that? Well, let's see. Uh, I don't think I can say what I really want to say. You can say whatever you want. This is the internet, sir. <laughs> no rules.
That's not true. There's a lot of rules actually yeah. now, but yeah, there's all kinds whatever of rules. you want. Let's see. He's lied. He's cheated. He's committed crimes. Uh, whether he's profited from them or not, personally, I don't know. But either way, he's looking out for himself and his his cronies, and not for the general public. Very true. For the people that don't know at home, can you tell us some of like the ethics violations? Are you talking about? Are you talking about uh, the conflict of interest? Is there anything that you want to point to particularly? Uh, Lavin, SC Lavin is the uh, the biggest one, and then the harassment of his uh, cabinet ministers is another one. He, he's they all. All the parties, you have to toe the party line, but there's limits. And he's not just stepped over the line, he's ran through that line, back and forth. So can we assume at this point you won't be vo voting for him? Uh, I don't know who I'm going to be voting for, to be honest with you, at this point. Is there any policies you'd like to see whichever candidate you'll end up liking take up that might uh, sway your vote? I would like to see some uh, better support of the Canadian military. Sure. I'd like to see some better support for education across the board, across the country. And I'd like to see better support for uh, underprivileged and homeless. Very true. Country. That's a big problem too. All right, anything else you want to add? No, I think that about covers it. Okay, thanks a lot. Did you want to add anything? No? All right, thanks a lot, sir. No Have a good day. Kid's got the old, uh, what's it called? Fanny pack. It's not Gucci, but it's going to have to do for now. Now, to most people out there, this van doesn't mean anything. But to me, this brings up terrible memories of when I thought I was getting candy, and it turned out to be something very, very different. What are you doing here today? Oh, I just come enjoy my day, just trying to see what's happening here, what's going on here exactly. That's why I just come check exactly what's going on. Very cool. We've been actually asking people today about the federal election. Are you interested in that at all? Yeah, I heard about it. I heard it's in a couple it. months? Yes, yes, you, yes. Who do you think is going to win? Um, to be honest and to be really sure what I think now, I think we will get through the second time again because, you know, we don't we don't have a really trust what we're going to trust and what we're going to, we're going to trust right now, but I think it's true too. Is yeah. there anything he said or done that you like or dislike? Uh, to be honest, you know, I don't want to just to say, but, you know, it's like... Um, I like the way he's doing, he's, he's working, you know, he's like, he's like my guy, I like him too, you know, so I don't have a point to say this and then negative and just like positive, something like that. I love everything he's doing. What's important to you, is it the, in the election, is it the economy, is it the culture, or is it the environment, what, what things are important to you? Uh, important to me is like economy, yes, economy, that is the more important for me, yes, economy, that's for me. Okay, anything else? Just that, thank you. All right, thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. You guys want to do an interview? We need interviews, guys. Just my YouTube channel. Oh, I don't know about that, man. Can I get demons? I want to get You can try if you say some ridiculous stuff, you know. Pardon? Can we interview him? You don't speak? Can we, we're going to record this right now. Can I just walk by, walk with you? And, uh, we're asking people about the election today. Just what do you think is going to happen? Like the federal election? Yeah. Any predictions? I'm not, no? I'm not jumping on this one. No. <laughs> you don't got to say who you're voting for or anything. Pardon me? I repped the door. It's Trudeau. That's all I was saying. Out the door? Trudeau out the door is what he said? You don't think so? So what do you think is going to happen? I think that he's coming back. Do you like that or do you not like that? I like Chudo. I like Chudo. I feel like he's been doing a good job. He hasn't made bare controversy, which is good and a bad thing, you know what I mean? Well, he has been uh, found guilty of like ethical violations and stuff like that. Everybody's been found guilty of something. That's fair. So is there anything he's done that you like or do you just think he's pretty much kept it under the radar? He's kept it under the radar, he legalized the weed, he's helping the crime, a lot of immigration. He's doing his thing for families, he upped the, uh, the family bonus, you know? Um, speaking about the crime, we've seen a huge crime uptick in Toronto, particularly the gun crime is something that I've tried to cover recently. Yeah, I'll, I'll jump on this. You want to jump? You. So, right, so, yeah, let me just pose a question like, to you. Oh, what I like about what Trudeau's done is he's taken a step forward with the single-use uh, plastic ban, which is nice. Um, 
and I think that it only happens if he gets implemented for another term, right? So, I so that's that a whole, big thing on your list. I mean, I like the I like the direction we're going. I'm not mad with our politics, right? So, like, why would I change it if I'm not mad with it? And in terms of the whole gun violence in Toronto, I feel like it's a mandate of you know Tory who's kind of throwing in all this bullshit about you know like oh you're trying to get money from you know the government and he's using this as a ploy it's not gun violence isn't bad in toronto man if you think it's bad in toronto you're lying to yourself i mean I, I feel safe it's a metropolitan city it's one of the biggest cities in the world right and you feel safe in the city do you ever feel like there's gun violence so it's bullshit all right yeah i don't live there so i don't know but we, overall we have seen a big uh, dip in the gun violence but as of late we've seen like a lot of murders so that's what people are pointing to but i do also think that it's a I think it's media you know what I mean? Like, no one, like, if you talk to any from, from Toronto, you say, yo, do you, do you feel safe? Everyone's going to say yes. You know what I mean? If you go to Detroit, you go to Chicago, you know, you'll get some real violence. You know, this isn't real violence. Look at this shit. <laughs> like, this is, the, this is the exact opposite of violence. You know what I mean? You can walk around, harass people, you know, with, within reason, you know, and you're not worried about getting attacked. You know what I mean? Especially if you walked up to three black guys. You don't think about it. You know, you don't do that in, you don't do that in certain places. You'll get attacked. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, am I wrong? <laughs> so, like, you know, I mean, like, I think if he gets elected again, I'm happy. And the reason why I'm happy is because everyone's happy. Not much has changed in negatively. I mean, that's the way I look at it. I mean, like, we're taking a step toward climate control, uh, climate change. The G7 summit was good. There's no issues. Like, there's no, we're not mad. We're like, we're mad at Trump. You know what I mean? All the tars and all that bullshit he's throwing in there. That, that's silly. And the tariffs are tough for us to deal with. I don't know if we have any tariffs. They want they put they wanted to put tariffs on us, and then Trudeau said that they would up the tariffs on our dairy and our meat. But they did, but they didn't because exactly. that would have been a good retaliation. Yeah. So we're. I mean, I, again, I don't know too much about that stuff. All I know is that here in Canada, we're happy. Toronto's a great city. Our our mayor and the the councillors are a little aggressive sometimes. You know, a little too far left. You know what I mean? But like, at the end of the day, we're happy. You know what I mean? So. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Anything else? I get his outfit, though. All right, thanks, guys. It's Andrew Does on Instagram. Thanks. That's another episode of Andrew Does. We're donating to epilepsy today. What did we learn today at Boscarville? First rule is we're going to try to get this interview with the girl behind you, though, first of all. Do you want to do an interview? Sure, thanks. Uh, can you tell us what you're doing here today? Um, I'm a captain at the Gates at uh, Buskerfest and I'm volunteering here today. Okay, very cool. We were actually asking people today about the federal election that's coming up. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Do you have any predictions of what might happen? You don't have to give your opinion or anything, but just what you might think happen? I'm not sure, honestly. You're not sure? Is there, what's important to you these days? Is it in a candidate maybe? Is it the economy, the environment, culture? What do you think? I think it's the environment, like the community, also like the schooling especially. Can you talk about that? Um, I know that uh, there's like the conservative party, they're, they're um, doing things with the schooling that's like different than what uh, the students want and like the teachers would want and I know that they're trying to make things better mm -hmm. and yeah. Do you think it has anything to do with the teachers like not wanting to lose any money? Do you think that is a portion of, a portion of it to play, or do you think it's just we should just give them the money and hope that it's being put towards like making education better? I think uh, giving money to the schools would make education better because it's uh, the community that lives there uh, provides like the money for the school to run. So if the uh, community would be better, then the school would run better. And yeah. Okay, anything else you want to add? No, that's all. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a good day. Um, so what was I saying? D-O-N-A-T-N-E -N -E. Please donate to epilepsy! Another episode of Andrew Does in the Books. We're supporting epilepsy here. We are supporting other things at Buskerville. Busker Fest, I can never remember what it is. What is Busker Fest? First rule, I think, from that first guy, what happens at Busker Fest stays at Busker Fest. We've also thought... We've also seen that a lot of people think that Justin Trudeau is probably going to win, but some people who are against him definitely don't want him to win. Either way, what we need is to continue our economy to be strong. I think culturally we're going a little bit too far to the left, but if we stay right where we are, I don't think things will be too bad. Only a matter of time. The polls are saying it's going to be very close with the Conservatives winning right now. So we'll just have to see what happens. Probably have another video asking people closer to it. 
Till then, till next time, do what I say, not as I do. The cameraman Tristan thinks it's too hot. I think it's too hot. Damn, it's hot today. Nice chance, Buskerville, Buskerfest. Don't even know anymore. Very cool, very cool. True, true. Yeah. Very cool, very cool, very cool.